Hi everybody, this is Mohamed Hamid. In our session, I will explain how we can use the sewer lamps to design domestic networks in camps. Now we can move to the next step, which is I just solve our other design factor. From home tab, this is the option. It is different from the option for the unit. This option is for the solver. And here, in all time, we have a software called SwearCAD and StormCAD and also WaterCAD and Clover and other, other programs. And now, when they make the sewer gems, they actually add four solver. One software will work in the JVF uh, convex SwearCAD solver. We we'll use it to solve our network. And again, for the explicit solver, this is to support the SWAM. This is the another software from ABA. They are implicit, also solver, and we have also the grade variant uh, flu uh, rational for storm, for storm cat. So we will have to select this solver. This is our solver, and if we have a copy of uh, uh, CAD, we can see the same face. Here I want to mention for the sewer cat. When we open sewer cat or sewer gems, we'll see like this storm data or loading and here we'll see this is for sanitary. For the storm data, we go to component and, and see the loading and the storm data. Immediately we'll think uh, sewer cat can solve the rain network. Actually, this is not right. Uh, sewer cat doesn't support the full network. There are some trick to add uh, rainfall from uh, inflow control center. Actually, we use it to cover the infiltration in the pipe. If there are defects or cracks in the pipe or the connection or in the manhole, we can add this uh, inflow. But if we want to add uh, uh, rainfall inputs for our uh, design, actually, we should go to Excel and make the calculation for the same networks and uh, we take the, uh, the result from Excel uh, and add it in the inflow control center like this we can into our uh, our network but it will be fixed flow and this is actually we can when we can design using this fixed flow it will calculate uh, or uh, aggregate with uh, domestic uh, loads but actually this is uh, not correct 100 percent correct but uh, some colleagues use this method to design for uh, combined system as we know we have separate system and combined system uh, but this is not correct and if we go to the storm card storm card support uh, the rational method and other methods and uh, design the rainfall uh, networks but uh, on the other hand he, he doesn't support the domestic uh, water if you go to StormCAD, you have to design for the rainfall uh, water and then you will add the domestic water as fixed flow, like I uh, explained in SewerCAD. For example, when, when we say the layout in SewerCAD or in SewerGems for the SewerCAD solver, actually we surprised why uh, Bentley add the catchment or add inlets for the SewerCAD because the SewerCAD doesn't using or doesn't support or doesn't solve rainfall networks. Then we will return to home to option to continue in our solver. So we have select our server CAD and now actually for the steady state, actually we design a steady state. Actually there are uh, another another option here for the EBS, which mean uh, extend period simulation. This is for 20 hour. You can simulate for 20 hours, but uh, actually this is for pump station or uh, for the rainfall uh, water. Uh, so now we will stay it in steady state. And for here, for calculation type, actually we have two options. This is analysis and this is the design. Actually in our case, we will take the design. But uh, for the analysis, if we have existing networks or we have old networks and we now try to check it, if it is suitable or it is uh, work good, actually we leave it analysis and uh, draw our networks in several can and uh, make our calculation this is for check and this is for design now we will take design and uh, for the other option back analysis no problem uh, or some some colleague using uh, capacity analysis uh, can leave it and uh, now yes this is very important for the loading if we want to use 
big factor we should hear use our extreme setup which we added it if you remember from the component yes everything is good now we can close and uh, again I will just uh, check uh, the flexible table if I added everything so flexible table I will take compute uh, and semi yes I select the compute type compute class material size what else okay and uh, okay for the money as I mentioned in Syrian we use for the uh, corrugated polyethylene 0 0.008 I change it now um, I think I'm ready to start calculation uh, before I start compute and the analysis they are uh, validate or check my networks if there are any mistakes so we press it there are some mistakes actually we forget to add elevation no problem as I mentioned before if uh, we can add uh, the elevation manually we can uh, uh, just select uh, an elevation and we can add, uh, for example, this is for elevation, elevation ground, and we can uh, add it manually, or we uh, can open flexible table for the manhole, and you can see this elevation ground, and we can uh, add it direct from here, for example. But this will last long time, so. We can now use tools, call it the Rex, the tools. This is the Rex, we can import it from RGIS or from CAD or from uh, Civil 3D. When we select uh, or press the Rex, now we can add it at points, the X point or the X contour or land XML from the Civil 3D or S3 from RGIS or ArcMap. Or QGIS or from Bitly. Uh, if we have uh, another software like OpenFlu, uh, we can uh, import it. So now we will uh, import it from the land XML. If you remember, we export it uh, from in Civil 3D. And now we will select this. If you remember, I export. If I return to Civil 3D from here, if you remember, in the my surface I just right click and export it you can import it this is surface open and now I will add meter for the X and for the Z meter also I will leave it uh, as default and now I will make next and now we uh, preview the results I think he discovered all and now I make finish if I now select any manhole, you can see here, this is elevation ground. Here, this is set rim to ground elevation. And if this is manhole, and this is, this we call it trim. And if we make, we set the rim to the ground elevation, this means the rim and the ground elevation will have same. If we don't set them, this means the rim will be above the ground and it have another elevation. So, in our example, because we working in the roads, it will set uh, true. So, the, the elevation for the manhole will take the ground elevation. If I open a flexible table for manhole, you can see now we have elevation ground and we have elevation rim for each manhole and if I make sort ascending to to say if there are zero point zero value okay they take it all now I have elevation I, again I will make validate for my design and now I take uh, notification there are no validation so issues uh, my design 